In this video we share Catholic priests and the stigmata. The following comes from the book in Sinu Jesu. It is normal that a priest be stigmatized, what is not normal, in fact, is that he not be. The real union with the crucified each day at the altar should leave the traces of his holy wounds in his hands, in his feet, and in his heart. In offering the holy sacrifice of the Mass, the priest is totally assimilated to Jesus crucified. This the Father sees, this the angels see, it is only men who do not see it. The depth of the impression of the wounds of Jesus in the heart and in the soul of the priest is proportionate to his degree of abandonment to the embrace of Jesus, who desires only to unite him to himself. In some, the interior impression is so strong that it manifests itself even in the flesh of the priest, in others, the identification with the crucified remains all interior and hidden, in still others, it is barely sketched in the soul of the priest, because he rebels against the idea of letting himself be crucified with Christ, and wants to keep his life for himself. To ascend to the altar to offer there the holy sacrifice is already to offer oneself to the piercing of the nails and of the lance, and to the crown of thorns. To offer the holy sacrifice of the Mass is already to risk the secret interior stigmatization that the Father sees, who sees in secret, and the angels who are admitted to contemplate the immolation of the Lamb renewed in the body and in the soul of a man. To offer oneself to the interior stigmatization is entirely in the logic of priestly ordination. In some men, God permits it to be manifested visibly, with outpourings of blood. In others, the same mystery is lived in secret, without any outward manifestation. It remains that every priest is chosen to bear the marks of the Passion of Christ, and to be the living icon of his immolation each day upon the altar. In Sinu Jesu was written by a Benedictine monk who receives in elocutions in prayer. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.